Good day, everyone, and welcome to Cooking with a Person Who Plays Video Games. That is the most creative title I could think of. I'm not very creative. Uh, I wanted to make a video about cooking because, well, I guess this is not really helping any positive stereotypes. But you know what? Everybody eats. Everybody has to eat. Unless you're like a cyborg. If you're a cyborg, that's my dog, by the way, in the background. That's also cases of beer. If you're a cyborg, message me. That'd be pretty cool. Um, today, we are going to make mini s'mores. It's going to be awesome. So if you like s'mores, if you're lactose intolerant, get lactose-free chocolate. It's not that hard. First, what we need to do is gather our ingredients. So we've got advent calendar. These are super cheap, like a month after Christmas and stores still have them. I don't know if there's an expiration date on them, but I don't care. The chocolate from these things are awesome. So you need advent calendar. Steal one from like your little brother or sister if you don't have one. I don't have a little brother or sister, so I just bought a bunch. Uh, mini marshmallows. If you don't have mini marshmallows, just get bigger marshmallows and cut them up. Works just the same. And we also need graham crackers. This is how you make s'mores. It's with graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate. So first we need to open our graham crackers. Holy crap, these are thick graham crackers. I didn't realize they were this thick. <laughs> Oops. Are these different than the other ones I used to buy? They're low fat. Nah, who cares? If you honestly care about low fat or not, then whatever. Just just buy the full fat one for once. They're s'mores, god damn it. They're not freaking yogurt. Okay. So we're gonna get out our graham cracker. And you can break them apart very easily. Like that. Next, need our chocolate. So just kind of grab your advent calendar, rip it up a little, because we we don't care what day it is. We just want chocolate. I think I have like one chocolate left. In, oh, there's a couple more at the bottom. That's cool. Okay, so you're gonna get your chocolate. Two chocolates will do. Perfect. See that? What are they? Oh, one's a duck and one's a. I can never tell what these are. What's that? Do you know what that is? Is it like a deformed Christmas tree? Oh, that's a that's sad. If you see a deformed Christmas tree, you should still get it. It deserves to be a tree. Uh, if you want to see that one's a duck. That's fun. So, make our little mini s'mores by doing that. Your mini marshmallows. This is vital. This is very important to the whole making progress. Process, not progress. There's a difference between those two words. Don't get them confused. Okay, so mini marshmallows are mini. See how small they are? This is like a normal marshmallow. I don't have any big marshmallows. Big marshmallows are like, I don't know, this big. And that's a mini marshmallow. So we're going to put the mini marshmallows like around the chocolate. If you want to, rip it in half because it makes the marshmallows sticky. The insides of marshmallows are sticky. The outsides are not. They're like powdery and disgusting. So try to rip the marshmallows in half and then stick them onto the chocolate and the cracker because then they will stay instead of rolling off like stupid marshmallows do. So you're going to want to take about five or six mini marshmallows and just kind of stick them all over. You know, it's really good to just stick them all over the chocolate. That was my phone, sorry. And then you're gonna wanna take the top and push it on and squish it down until you hit chocolate. That is how make me a marshmallow. That's my phone, by the way, that's a Nexus 4. It's better than yours. Unless you have a Nexus 4, then it's the same. <laughs> okay, the next part now is a very tough part. I'm gonna just 
keep on eating these. Um, we need a heat source. Now, if you don't have many heating sources, um, like if you live in a dorm and the only thing you're allowed to have is a kettle, you can't make s'mores in a kettle. I gotta stop eating while I'm talking. Uh, you could start up the oven, but I think that would be kind of a waste just for a mini s'more to start up an oven. You could start up a hot plate, but you need to make dishes and put them on the hot plate and stuff like this. It's just, it's a mess. And microwaved s'mores do not taste good. You need to actually heat it up. So how are we going to do this? Well, I have a solution here. This is my HP laptop. Uh, I bought it years ago and I got an Xbox free with it. So that's why I bought it. It has a broken fan. <laughs> so it doesn't cool itself down. I have to externally cool it down with a fan that I have in my room. But we're gonna start it up without the external fan. And this is gonna be our heat source. Let's start up the laptop. Oh, if you accidentally break your s'more, it's okay. They fit back together very easily. We're gonna put that off to the side. So we're gonna start up the laptop. Finger swipe, because that's the future. The future is now. And we're going to run some high-end programs. So we're gonna run, we're gonna run debut. We're gonna run an AVG scan. Yep. We're gonna run, oh, we're gonna run The Sims 2. Here you go. You got your computer, it's gonna run some stuff. Right now it looks like a black screen, but it's actually trying to do things. This laptop's old, it has issues doing things. I keep it around though, because A, it's a heat source, and B, it has Sims 2 on it, and I lost all my Sims 2 discs. So, I can't reinstall them on this laptop. This laptop I'm recording with, it has Windows 8, and this one has Windows 7. So I've got a few reasons to keep this one around. Why is this not starting? So it's gonna start anyway. It'll it'll do its stuff. Um, you're gonna want to keep it plugged in, cause running some high-end programs will drain the battery fast, and we can't have it die. And it's gonna take a while to heat up. It could take ten, maybe twenty minutes if you can hear the motor running. If you can hear all your hardware working hard, then you know that the heat's coming out. So the heat's gonna come out of here, where the fan's supposed to be, but the fan doesn't exist right now. It broke. It's really dangerous. I do not recommend disabling your fan just to do this. Never disable your fan. Your computer gets very hot internally, and if your computer gets too hot, wires will melt, you can do hardware damage, and then you gotta get a new laptop. But if you have an old laptop you wanna screw around with, go ahead. No, that's not my problem. So, we're going to wait for that to heat up. While you're waiting, you can play video games. If you got a DS, play your DS. If you got a PS Vita, play your Vita. If you got a Vita, I hate you. I don't have a Vita, so. I only hate you out of envy. We got a PSP still, so. That's all I need. That's all I need, all I need is Dissidia. <laughs> oh, Finn, you're so funny. Hey, 
These do taste different. Those are the freaking low fat ones. Who the hell bought these? And the whole grain. Oh my god. Oh, fire my assistant. Oh. What is this? What is this? I don't want this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Sims 2 up and running. Let's get some volume on this bitch. Oh, that's not FM. Oh, I don't need to press the FM button, do I? I need volume. Ah! I'm gonna have a rave party while I'm waiting. Okay, so we've got Sims 2 running. And I can, uh, you can hear my processor working a little bit. Let's open up one of my towns. Finger hole. Yeah. Oh, happy boy. This is Leo. This is my other cat. Wanna say hi everyone, Leo? Go up and say hi everybody. Hi everybody. I'm Leo. I like to get in the way of things. That's my microphone. <laughs> Very good. You wanna see his butt? That's his butt. <laughs> Come on, Leo. Come on, now everybody wants to see your butt. Unless they're a little bit creepy. If you're creepy like that, that's fine. I don't judge. So like I said, this is gonna take a while to heat up. So uh <laughs> sit back and relax. And uh do whatever. If you're hungry while you're waiting, uh, Costco sells bags <laughs> of yogurt. <laughs> okay, I bought my Costco membership like two weeks ago. And I've only been twice. And the first time, I had no idea where I was and then the power went out, so... I didn't get anything. The second time I got groceries, I got a bag of yogurt. What is this? It says in the, it has the instructions on the back. It's supposed to shake well and then like undo the cap and pour it into a bowl. This is not the intended use for this. Okay, why make dishes when you can jump? <laughs> Oh, so good. Satisfaction guaranteed. Easy to handle. And convenient pouch. <laughs> That's my label. Satisfaction guaranteed. And easy to handle. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut that off of there and uh, put it on my shirt. I'll also put the owned by dairy farmer cooperatives on my shirt. Why not? I'll be owned by dairy farmers. I wouldn't care. I love farmers. They make food and stuff. I don't even have to use hands. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's falling over. <laughs> I'm like a baby breastfeeding. <laughs> How awkward is this right now? <sighs> I am awesome at making things amazingly awkward. I really shouldn't have a lot of this though. Quick and convenient. It is. Yogurt in a bag, people. I recommend it highly. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. See if it's hot enough. Not even close. The re way you know the temperature is hot enough is when you feel it. If your hands don't sizzle, it's not hot enough. So we're gonna leave it. I've still got my Sims up. I've still got all my other programs up. Oh, my guy's hungry. Good for you. You go eat them. 
And we're going to just leave this. Another 10 minutes. It's running pretty hard. I can feel the heat, but it's not scalding hot. So we're going to wait just a few more minutes. Have patience, people. Patience is a virtue. All right. It's not heated up to optimal temperature yet, but you are able to put it in front of the fan early if you've got stuff to distract you. But make sure you keep an eye on the s'more because you don't want it to be melting everywhere and get all of your laptop stuff. Okay, so we're just, I'll aim me down a little more so you can see. That's a marshmallow I dropped. We're gonna go to the fan. All of this is the fan along here. All the heat's coming out of there. We're just gonna put our s'more right up against it. Like that. So we've got that. Hello. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to speed up a little. And that's gonna melt real quickly. So just keep an eye on it. Your marshmallows are gonna start to melt and your chocolate's gonna start to melt. The graham cracker won't melt. From experience, graham crackers don't melt. Unless you get it to like, if you got graham cracker hot enough, will it melt? That'll be our next experiment. If you know the answer to that, don't spoil it for people. <laughs> All right, our s'more chocolate is starting to look a little shiny and melty on one side. Now it's not gonna be even heat distribution. One side's gonna get more heat than the other. So touch the chocolate, see if it's melted enough. It's not melted enough because no chocolate went on my hand. It may look melted, but it's not. So you're gonna keep putting that side close and once that side's done melting, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna melt the other side. Okay, so our fan's pretty heated up. Our s'more is pretty melty and toasty on one side. Even the marshmallows starting to get a little toasted. That's perfect. So we're gonna turn the s'more around and toast the other side for a little bit. Alrighty, it has been quite some time. Look at our s'more. It's toasted, the chocolate's melted. If you feel your marshmallows, they might not look toasted, but they are. Mm. Oh my god, is that good. I have one more thing we need our s'more. Some whipped cream. And that, my friends, is how you make a mini s'more. <laughs> that bite was just whipped cream. Mm. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you didn't, then you're a s'more hater. That's not my problem. Hopefully there will be more of these. Not not the s'mores. Well, hopefully there will be more s'mores. But hopefully more food related things. But I'll probably put them on a separate blog. Mm. Oh my god. That is actually really good. I'm eating hair. <laughs> Until then, good day to you. I hope you enjoyed. And subscribe if you thought that was cool or fun. Even if you thought it was lame, still subscribe. I play video games. Come on. Like the video if you like s'mores. Comment on it if you don't like s'mores. Personally, I don't care. I love them. <laughs>